Are you gonna focus? Are you gonna focus? I really don't have time today. I am really, really not in the mood. If you think that this chicken is spicy, your taste buds are disabled. They are disabled. I am not in the bloody mood. Do not piss me the hell off. I've got myself a cookies and cream um, milkshake. Oh, this is thick. This is thick. Focus now. Are you done? When I tell you that I was literally was in this house an hour ago and I was wasting time trying to get the proportions and the size and the position of the camera right my food is done bloody cold I'm really really not about I'm not in the mood do not piss me off I don't even know if I'm even in focus right now to be honest with you and I really couldn't care Hi it is I some of the most high it is a he's and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title below I am doing a Chick-fil-A mukbang 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 what do you want to call it I don't eat and show Okay, it's a unique show. And today is my first time trying Chick for Y. People always hype it up like it's something. I don't really see the big deal in it. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna try it today. And yeah, I was not spending money on Postmates today. I went there and I got it myself when I came back. And you know what? I'm about to sit devour this meal. Okay. Chick for Y, mukbang, mukbang, boom, and we're gonna go. Okay. I can, I can tell you, I'm probably going to edit this and I'm going to get so pissed off because I know that I'm probably not in focus, but I pray to the Lord that I am. If this is the first time seeing, you can tell I'm so unbothered right now. If this is your first time seeing my face or knowing my existence, please click the subscribe button down below. Subscribe, it really does help me a lot. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers and I'm probably at like 3,000 or something now. You're probably laughing at me telling me I will never make it, but let me tell you something. <laughs> watch this space. By the time you watch this, I won't, I will be back in London by the time you watch this because obviously I haven't taken anything to edit with me while I'm in LA at the moment right now. So yeah, let's dig in. Sanctify this food and cheese my time, I pray. Amen. God first, people. God first. Where the hell's my straw? Okay, well, I can't find it. I'm just going to use one from in and out Hopefully, it will do its justice. So I've got myself a cookies and cream um, milkshake. Oh, this is thick. This is thick. Let's have a taste. That is good. Mmm. Wow. Tisha Paytas is shaking. She is shaking. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm. That was so good. I don't know. I just turned it around. That's just gonna make a difference. It's got your napkins, you know. <laughs> we got some dips. We got the tom tomato sauce, ketchup. I got all the sauces actually because I really wanted to try it out. I got the barbecue sauce. Then I got the honey mustard. And I got your all time favorite, all time special, all time amazing Chick fil A sauce. Right, okay. And then I've got the waffle fries. They're really cold right now, and I'm pissed off. Let's have a taste of that. How old is that? Mmm, not bad. They literally just taste like anything potato. Alright. I ordered the spicy deluxe spicy chicken sandwich. Come and join me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Mm. I don't think I'm even in focus. Do you know how pissed off I am? There you go. This um, <clears throat> cookies and cream shake is really good. Can you focus? But honestly, do not piss me off. That's what I don't like about 700D. It's really so helpful to focus. Focus, please. Come on. I got this from Target the other day, from Target. Um, it's Fanta Pineapple Soda. I swear, this is why Americans are obese. Look how massive this is, and it only cost me $2 from 7-Eleven. Bon Appetite. Not gonna lie, I'm looking pissed off, because obviously, I spent so long trying to get the right blend and position, because sometimes my head was cut off, sometimes the, head, the table wasn't showing. I was like, what the hell do you want? Yeah. Mm hmm. So, like, what do we talk about? So, if you guys weren't aware, I, these are really dry, I need some sauce. I came to Los Angeles, California, 
for two weeks. Um, this smells so bad. Hold on, let me taste it. You know what they say? Don't judge a book by its cover. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anytime I eat it. Oh, mm -mm. I always feel like they get stuck in my throat. So yeah. Do 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 do. It's really good. Like really good. Like really good. I have tried, the food I've tried so far is the McDonald's over here. You know what? It's not a massive difference. Like, I know why it would be a difference because of the, um, the choices. It would like in the menu because obviously London has literally, literally nothing. Like, I was speaking to Shalom Black yesterday and she was like, oh my gosh, I love London. I'm like, what is it about London that you love? We have nothing. Everything we have is from you. And if it's from you, we made our own bootleg version and it's disgusting, trust me. But yeah, mm, this shake is so good. Anyway, yeah, so, I mean, the burgers taste more fresh. I guess that makes a difference. And yeah, it actually wrap it, which shows that they care. They've got more options. Um, Panda Express. I, I've tried, it's really good, I love it. Like, I'm not a massive fan of Asian food, but they did do well. They did very, ooh, they did very, very, very well. Um, yesterday I had some seafood. I went to the Drunken Crab in North Hollywood with Shalom yesterday. We were watching the Shalom Hey Girl. I met with her for the first time yesterday. Honestly, oh, heart of gold. Wonderful lady. She's not a girl, she's a lady. She's a woman. There's the difference. She's very respectful. She puts others before her. Which is not very, very common in this world that we live in today. I'm gonna to try this burger. People say that it's really, oh, 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 look at that, that looks good. I don't know if I can see it properly, but guys, honestly, it looks so good. It looks so good. I asked for the pickles and everything, and I'm not a fan of pickles, but I want the whole package, because obviously everything in London, in America is so much better. Can you see that? Look at that, guys. Oh my, oh, 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 it smells so good. Oh, and the cheese, ooh, 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 ooh. I cannot wait to devour this masterpiece. Okay, got the pickles, you know, Chick-fil-A, chick, 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 Chick-fil-A. Ooh, ooh, child, I cannot wait to devour this. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce, you know. That's how we do it in New, in New York. We dip it in sauce. Not like I'm from New York, if that makes any sense. But anyway, let's give it a try. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That tastes, um, no, that's good. Americans don't have to cook. London, we have nothing. Wow. Okay, let me start talking now. So, You may be like <clears throat> flabbergasted by the title, like what the hell is this guy's problem? I hate Americans, like who are you to talk? Well, shut up and let me talk first. Yes, the title was clickbait. I need the coins, rent is due. The thing is, not focusing on me. Uh, do you know what, this camera is pissing me the hell off. It really, really is, I'm not even joking with you. Come on, no, for real now, seriously, can you stop? Well, I'm genuinely talking to an object like it's actually got ears, wow. So basically, um, I mean, when I went, when I came to obviously um, America a few years ago, I went to Florida, and I realized everyone was so nice. But then again, I realized it was all fake just to get tips. So, I mean, if you're from London or you've lived in London or you or you understand what I'm talking about, you know that everyone minds their own business. When you're walking down the street, if you're in the elevator, no one says hello. Everyone minds their own business because everyone in London's rude. Everyone in London's rude. But over here in the US. People genuinely are nice. They say, hey, how are you? How's your day? How's the kids? You know, are you breastfeeding yet? You know, the, the usual questions. And, you know, if at first it was weird for me because obviously, can, this thing needs to focus, honestly, stop it. Okay, good, there you go, right. At first it was weird for me because obviously like, that's not what I'm used to. Um, so, but obviously like, when I saw people, I did say hello, how are you, stuff like that. But, um, I mean, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. But, I think, was that yesterday or the day before? I was at Hollywood Boulevard, right? 
and some random guy who dressed up like someone from space or whatever asked to take a picture with me and I was like I, I'm I kind of I'm and like I'm kind of known obviously here in the UK but I didn't know I was that known like <laughs> just drop it and then I was like yeah of course why not sure and then he whispered it then I told my friend okay go on here and take a picture um, and then the guy then goes to me and says oh we're doing these for tips I said, oh, are you? I said, well, I don't have any money to give you. He goes, oh, well, we're trying to feed our family. A lot of Sunday for my business, but okay. This is Sunday Mustard. I'm going to try it for the first time. Hold on. Oh, no. No. But I'm the same person who's going to pour it inside the chicken filet sauce right now. Like, I said, I don't have notes to give you, but I can give you the change that's in my wallet. Then he's with his other friend, because obviously they're both doing it together. And the guy goes, oh, I can see a couple of notes in your wallet. I said, like I said, I'm not giving you my notes in my wallet. I said, I can give you these coins, but you're not getting my you're not getting my notes in my wallet. So he looks at his friend, looks at me, then looks at his friend. Then he goes, uh, we're not beggars. In a, such a rude, disrespectful way with an attitude and walks away. Now, because of that, sir, you're not getting jack. You're not even getting a dime or a quarter. You can get lost and go and find your own job. Like... I don't understand, I'm a tourist, okay, I get that, I come to this country, it doesn't necessarily mean I have all the money in the world, even though I pray that I will do one day in Jesus' name. But really and truly, like, don't misbehave, like, if I don't give you a tip, I do not give you a tip. Like, also, there's these hood rats as well on Hollywood Boulevard, I'm trying to sell their dead music. I'm not going to listen to your music, at first I don't listen to trap anyway, so therefore, that's just a no in the beginning. Then some guy was like, you know, okay, can you please buy our mixtape, like, any donations possible? I said, okay, but I, I listen really truly, I'm not going to listen to, I, I didn't say this, but I don't listen, I said I don't listen to trap anyway. He goes, okay, cool, that's fine. He goes, can you follow me on Instagram? I said, yeah, sure, why not? Obviously, I'm following him immediately because obviously his Instagram was dead. But at the end of the day, you know, show some support. And then, yeah, that kept it moving, kept it stepping. And he wasn't rude, just kept these things to focus. He wasn't being rude or disrespectful, you know. I said it as it is. Like I said, I said what I said. I said what I meant, I meant what I said. And that's it, do you know what I mean? Like, no more, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. If you have not do your music, I will let you know. And trap. I don't listen to trap. I don't listen to drill, grind, all that kind of jazz. I don't listen to any of that. So really and truly, I don't give you false hope. Because if anything, I like a, I like a true, real fan. Not a fake fan who gives me clout for no reason when they don't even listen to my music. Please, get out. But man, I love it here. I actually love it here. The weather's beautiful. You know, people are lovely. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. People say this is spicy. I don't understand what is so spicy about Chick-fil-A. There's nothing wrong with There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. I'm here for two weeks. Living my best life. Oh yeah, I forgot the bloody thumbnail. I used to do a thumbnail, but I didn't even do it. Hold on. It's too late now because I've eaten almost all of the fries. There's no point. But let me try. Oh, I even ripped the bag. Wow. I'm not even helping myself now, am I? This camera is pissing me off. This is the only thing that I hate about 700D. The quality is beautiful, but the autofocus is so freaking slow. Oh my days. Okay, do you know what? I have the burger in my hand. And the shake. It's not just Trisha Pitts does this and she can make some stupid noises. She like this. Yes, I was doing a thumbnail. I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get out of the way. Move. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that shake is beautiful. Honestly, this is my lunch, but really, truly, if I eat all of this, I will not be able to eat later. My stomach is so small. I don't understand why it's like that. Mm. I don't exactly know what is so spicy about this chicken. There's nothing spicy about it at all. If you think that this chicken is spicy, your taste buds are disabled. They are disabled. Guys, do you know what I love here? Yeah? <coughs> I love watching mukbangs while eating, but like, I don't know why, it just makes things so much better. I, especially when it's people who I genuinely watch on YouTube. Like, I find it so nice. You know, it's so funny, so many people are not finding my YouTube channel. Because obviously I was on the Jimmy Kimmel show, obviously. I'm so done with this camera. Okay, it's focusing now. Also, 
also guys i just want to talk about youtube yeah because obviously you know people nowadays generally don't want to become friends if there's nothing coming in for them they don't want to know like if they don't get the numbers or they don't see the numbers happening that they don't want to know and i find it so annoying don't get me wrong like it's like it's a business now like youtube pays people's bills but it does get to a point where you genuinely just want to have a genuine friendship and you don't really find that anymore um yeah honestly like in la here i can't feel everyone has their like friendship groups already and to now make a new squad or a new friendship group is very rare can you focus please? Like, I don't understand what's your problem. Like, you've been fed. I charged you. I got you a new SD card. What else do you want? I can't go and kill myself. Can you focus? So what's going on? Do you know what? You want to be stubborn? Then you can both be stubborn. I'm pouring this drink in front of you. You're not going to have some? And I'm not mad about it. I bought Gatorade the other day. I literally just bought like a whole... Do you know what? I'm just going to do this move back. I don't even care if it's in focus anymore because I'm just really just pissed off. And I bought some Gatorade, like a whole flipping crate. And it's all in my fridge and I don't even like it. I don't know why I bought it. But yeah, man, Nazemi Advance was performing yesterday. And I really wish I went. But obviously, I wasn't following her. So I had no clue when she was performing. So yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so full. I'm literally just eating now for no reason. Guys, many people don't know this, but I actually love Afro Beats. Like, I love it so much. Like, don't, can you focus, man? Honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. I do love my white people music, but Afro Beats is the way to go. It really is, trust me. I'm gonna try some of this barbecue sauce. But yeah, basically, I got this SD card yesterday from Best Buy because obviously my three SD cards I had recently, all of the memory has finished. And the guy told me that it will last me for two weeks. If he lies, I'm getting a refund ASAP. Do not mess me about. Like, I'm fully not here to play games. I do not come to buy camera equipment. That's why I brought obviously SD cards back with me. Oh, I can't breathe. Okay. God is a woman. Oh, you took my phone. No, it's like in the lyrics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guys, he does not want to focus. I rest my case. I rest my case. Uh, do you know what I'm gonna do? But because I think it focuses the background, I'll stay here because I'm tired of stretching forward. And I'm hurting my neck. But yeah, the next video that probably goes up on my channel probably will be the video with me and Shalom. She's going to be on my channel. Or it might be my vlog. My LA vlog. So it depends. But yeah, guys. I will see you guys very, very... I am so... You know, right now, zero Fs given. Zero Fs given right now. I am so unbothered with everything right now. Also guys, it's so off topic, but has anybody been watching like Shisha Paytas' recent ASMR mood bangs? Like, I can't tell if she's depressed, I can't tell if she's high, I can't tell if she's going through a mental breakdown, I can't tell, I can't tell. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. I'm fucking with your energy.